been asked the question, what are the biggest uh, traps that entrepreneurs get into? And right off the bat, the number one is not practicing who, not how. I mean, I didn't have the wording for that up until about two years ago, but I had the, you know, I had the principle, I had the concept. And I would say uh, doing things that are not your unique ability. Doing things that give you uh, no energy. And um, the more that you just commit to yourself and you bet on what you're really great at that you, when you're freed up, uh, then you won't get into the trap of doing work that gives you no um, you know, it just doesn't give you any buzz. But the other thing about it is that you just really aren't any good at doing that over the long term. And it prevents your company from growing. I would say the second biggest trap is not taking advantage of other people's intelligence. Okay. So my, my sense more and more is that I have a brain and everybody's born with a brain and my brain is good enough. I mean, I've got a good enough brain. And, uh, you know, I've, uh, I'm smarter than some people I've met, and I've met people that are a lot smarter than me. But when it comes right down to it, it really isn't about how smart I am in terms of my own brain. What's, what's really important is how I use my brain to take advantage of other people's brains. Okay, so uh, I call it, that's my brain, but my mind is, um, my mind is the, all the ways in which I get to access other people's brains who have totally different capabilities and they're smart about things that I'm not smart about. And uh, my, my feeling, you know, I'm, uh, I've been around for, you know, um, I'll be 77 in uh, May of 2021. And um, I think my brain is still as good as when I was first born. Um, but there's no need to improve my brain, but what I can do for the rest of my life is keep expanding uh, the value and the usefulness of other people's brains. So my whole goal is I don't have to get smarter inside myself, I have to get smarter outside of myself. So uh, I think that just relying on your own brain is another trap. And I think the other thing is that um, the third trap is is getting trapped by your product or service that somehow um, you know you you think that the product that you uh, deliver and the service is what other people are looking for but actually what other people are looking for is help in achieving their biggest future so that uh, brings in the dos uh, you know i'm not as, I'm not interested really in what I have to sell. I'm interested in what um, my clients who are entrepreneurs, what's their bigger future? And I just want to become incredibly knowledgeable about what other people are trying to create in their future. And what that does, it gives me new ideas continually of new ways that I can be useful. So I don't have to pay attention to what other coaches are doing in the world or anything. I just pay attention to my best clients and what they're trying to achieve. And then uh, just by me asking the question, you know, what they're trying to achieve, that's being very useful. And then I always find ways that I can connect them with other people or I, I can, you know, uh, do things for them that make it more useful. So just wrapping up the three things that you can focus on that'll keep you out of the three biggest traps are number one, the who not how concept uh, that you just do your unique ability, set goals and have who's achieve bigger and better goals. So you don't get trapped uh, into doing a how. Number, number, uh, uh, number two is that, um, um, don't worry about your brain, expand your mind. In other words, don't, don't, th don't get cooped up inside your own brain, but use your brain to access the intelligence and the knowledge and the skill of other people. And the, um, the third one is um, um, don't, don't get uh, trapped by your product or service, but constantly connect yourself with the bigger future that clients and customers 
are trying to achieve and just continue being useful in new ways to help other people create and achieve their biggest future. <laughs>